Hey folks, I'm Brian Latimer. Today we're gonna to do something a little different. You know, my favorite part of fishing, obviously, is catching fish. But today we're gonna to show you how to actually cook the fish. So, brought in my all-star lineup here. Miss Michelle Fleming, she's gonna show us how you can cook your catch. So on your RV trips, your camping trips, you can have a lot more fun with your family and your loved ones. And uh, I'm looking forward to get this started. Show me yeah. what you got. Tell me about it. It's gonna be awesome. Well. You're gonna cook a little bit of speckled trout. And I gotta give a little bit of credit to my mom. You know, when I go fishing, right? I don't actually bring home fish a lot. And me and my husband both, right? as fly fishermen, we are catch and release catch people. Catch and release. So the problem is, is that my mom, she's from the Philippines and she gets a mad that we don't bring it back. Don't she's bring like, them back. I can relate. You know? I like, definitely can relate. <laughs> like, why are you gonna go fishing if you're not gonna bring back the fish? Right. So. Um, a little bit of ode to my mom on Filipino cooking. And so what we're going to be making today is an escabeche fish, which is a sweet and sour fish. And we're going to grill the fish with some leeks and some ginger and some olive oil, some salt and pepper, and then we're going to put the escabeche sauce over top of it. You'll see it all go down here shortly. So we're going to make a garlic saute green bean. Turn this guy on. I don't want it on like super hot. I don't want it super hot. With this, we have our fry pan set from Stanley, and it is a three ply, three layer bottom. I'm not. I I just turned this on. Probably shouldn't touch it. Mm. But the thing about it is, is just it's just like a like a like some of the all clads or some of the things that you would use in your home, like we are going to use today. Um, but really great on a gas grill or gas stove outside. Um, but you want to let this thing heat first. You don't want to just throw anything in there cold um, just because that's how you get, get stuff sticking and you know that you want it to perform the best uh, way possible. So you want to heat it up just a little bit. Um, I'm going to let this heat up before we put our um, oil in and we're going to put oil, garlic, and saute that up a little bit. So I'm going to throw in some uh, extra virgin olive oil. That goes on everything. I it really like kind of does. And we're going to put in our garlic. I feel like my mom would be proud of me. Yeah? The greens. Like, you know how it is when you're younger, you don't ever want to eat the greens? And now you're making greens for me. So I'm winning. You're winning. You're winning. Right well, the one thing that I've noticed about cooking Filipino food is that there just seems to be like a lot of garlic. There seems to be a lot of pepper, a lot of vinegar and soy sauce. And it seems like that's so, sort of like in the Holy Trinity. Maybe that's not necessarily tw Trinity because that's four things, but, <laughs> um, well. but you know, like you know, with, there's, there's certain cultures that will have their three things. And, you know, I think that really, I would say garlic, soy sauce, any kind, any kind of uh, vinegar. Right. I mean, it is really, really heavy on the vinegar. But that is a great mixture. Three things to put, that goes on just about anything. Breakfast, yeah. lunch, dinner, vegetables, meat, works on everything. I know. So I'm gonna pop in some green beans to here. Oh, it's already starting to smell good. Yeah. <laughs> Well, garlic makes everything yeah. worth it, right? The one thing I would like to point out um, with the green beans is that I blanched them first. No, explain what, what does that mean? So I boiled them gotcha. until for for probably three to five minutes in there, just okay. to soft, soften them up okay, and get gotcha. that bright green color. Gotcha, so just boil them just to soften them up before yeah. you put them in the pan. And well, because it's, because okay. I think that it's, it makes it for a nice, easier... Uh, easier to eat. Easier to eat, but it's also it's easier to fry them, I okay. think. All right, so I want to add a little bit of salt here. I've got some Malden sea salt. And I did a pretty hefty pinch of that. Get some pepper going here. I like a lot of pepper. Can't go wrong with a lot of pepper. No. How does it smell good? It looks absolutely 
fabulous right now. No, it will taste pretty good once it's all done. So the one thing I'm going to add on top of that is a little bit of fish sauce. So fits the occasion. It does. <laughs> fits the occasion, and you know, it's just it's something that's called patis. Is what they call it in the Philippines, and it just kind of adds a little bit of extra salty flavor to it. I'm going to pick up some of this. Caramelization. You can smell it no, too, can't you? Smell yeah, I mean, it just, yeah. you definitely can smell that fish going. You can see too that you, the, the green beans are starting to brown up. So the fry pan set comes with um, two plates, two sporks. This is all a little kit. Yep, all a little kit. The spatula that I'm using. Cool. I'll leave a link in the description box of this video so you guys make sure you go to uh, stanleypmi.com mm -hmm. and uh, you'll see this whole kit. I'll make sure you have it there so you can check it out. Okay. And so I'm going to take a little bit of peanuts and just sprinkle them on top and smash them up too if you'd like. Okay. So we will set this aside. Great. We'll let this warm up. The next thing we're going to get into is making our escabeche for the fish before we go out and grill it. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to make the escabeche sauce. I need to cut a few things up. Okay. Because um, I haven't gone all the way there. So I have uh, in the in already cut up, I have some ginger. Okay. And I have some shallot. And I'm going to cut some green onions and some leeks. So we're going to do this a little bit differently. I mean, traditionally with the uh, Filipino escabeche, they'll use a whole onion. They'll use a lot of carrots and some some um, red sweet bell pepper. But I'm going to use a jalapeno. Okay. And instead of just regular black pepper, I'm actually going to use some peppercorn in the bottom. Oh, okay, cool. Just a little bit different. Kind of add a little bit of a spice that's, the. That, I don't know. I that's think supposed that, to add. Supposed well, to... I think that also with spice, the south because i'm okay. adding a little bit of southern flair i've found that i don't know we had those fish tacos yep. last night yep. or the what was it the pimenton cheese uh, with, pimento yeah oh, is that right? now, i like the way you said it though yeah, pimento <laughs> that was great i know i, mean, I, feel I like, got a new one <laughs> i know i was just trying to get a little pimento, bit more. yeah uh, pimento cheese pimento cheese Anyways, um, there was that, that hot sauce with it, and there was a whole bunch yeah. of hot sauce on there, and I just figured that we'd add a little bit of... We like spicy stuff. Yeah, some, some spice everything. rather than sweet. Yeah. Because there's going to be plenty of sweet in this in this sauce um, with the brown sugar and the ginger. Oh, and brown that, sugar, so. ginger. Oh, you, you're going to learn yeah. today. You're going to learn today. I'm going to learn today. today. <laughs> right? Okay, so I want to cut a few green onions. I would have lost at least three. I know. Running. Well, oh. that's about as good as I need for right now. All right. And next thing is, is we're going to get this escabeche sauce started. Put this sucker back on high. So first things first is I'm going to throw a little bit of toasted sesame oil in there. We'll just, I'll take a little bit more too. And that, this one has a little bit higher flash point. And then... We are going to go shallots. I'm going to start by cooking those guys up. All right, and then we are going to pop in this ginger. Let's get this going a little bit. Let's turn that heat down so we don't get so crazy here. Alright, let me get this going. You can start. You guys can't smell it, but I can smell it. it Brian, you can good. probably. I'm like, smell I'm, it. I'm starting to get like. <laughs> I, mean, I can't even say anything. I'm just like, we're just gonna pull out the plate. I'm ready I know. to eat now. So with this, we're going to. We've got the uh, the aroma coming out of here, and then next thing we are going to do is um, vinegar. So. I don't have a measuring cup, but you're going to want to put probably about a quarter cup of vinegar in here. This is really going. And this is white wine vinegar. You can use apple cider vinegar. Put a little bit of wow. water going in there. Because I could not find a measuring cup, I just decided to use my, my cocktail shaker jigger. You know, I mean, we're, 
We're here in South Carolina at yeah. Airbnb. Sometimes you can't find Airbnb. Yeah, just use whatever you got. It's I'm going to use whatever I got. That cocktail shaker works pretty well. It's perfect because a lot of times you're camping and whatever, you almost always forget utensils like that. Or maybe you just don't have a bedroom. You can't pack everything all That's the time. That's true. All right, so I'm going to throw a little bit of peppercorn in the bottom of this here. Let that cook in there. I need some soy sauce. And really, I just need a couple splashes of it. Probably, you know, in the neighborhood of a two teaspoons will do. It's starting to boil down a little bit. And what I am going to do is I'm actually going to add some simple syrup to it because I've already made it and I already steeped the simple syrup with um, some ginger. So added probably a few tablespoons in there. And then brown sugar. Brown sugar. I have a, a tablespoon back there. And add another tablespoon to that. And you can see that this is starting to boil and it's going to start thickening up a little bit. Now you mm. just let that simmer after you... I'm going to uh, let this guy simmer up. Uh, uh, for a little bit, we don't want it. We don't want it to cook down too much because I don't want it to be too syrupy. Right. To make it a little bit of little bit of spicy, we like spice. We're gonna add these jalapenos to Set it. Set it on fire. That's Set right. it on fire. <laughs> it is like I took the seeds out over there. Oh. You know, I mean, because we don't want to get like super crazy with it, right? That's going to be amazing on top of the fish. Mm-hmm. And last but not least, I'm going to throw these green onions in there. And I'm not going to cook these guys down all the way. Just adding in there in the end. What's awesome is that we're going to take this, we're going to let this cook up a little bit. Here, I'm gonna let this cook for a couple minutes and, and check the, the taste on that. I'm gonna take a drink. Take a drink, my drink. Yeah, the whole, you get the whole uh -huh. pint there. Huh? I'm the chef. I All right, get the pint. <laughs> All right, so when we go outside to grill this fish up, we are going to grill it with olive oil and some leeks. So I've washed and halved a big old leek and now I'm just gonna slice it up. I'm not it's probably in the neighborhood of like, you know, what is this? Half inch, third of an inch in it's thickness. Not thin, no, no. So I'm gonna cook the fish, you know, one side. Right. And then I'm gonna flip it over and I'm gonna finish it with this gotcha. on top of it. You probably squeeze a lime and a lemon Cross over top. top of it, and then we're gonna throw throw some escabeche sauce on here. I just like saying it. Escabiche. I know escabeche. That is cool. I feel super smart when I pronounce <laughs> that correctly. Right. So. What do you have for dinner? Escabeche. And I am super going high to end. take some chives out there too. I'm just cutting these up really for garnish, really. That's what I'm doing, just to make it look pretty. Cause you know, I like a good presentation of yeah, food. Yeah, it makes it look it better. Really, but if you think it looks better, then it tastes better. That's too. right. People will want to eat that, right? Yeah, exactly. exactly. Okay, so I'm gonna stir this up one more time. I don't want these uh, jalapenos to get, lose their color too much. So I'm gonna turn this off. Just give this a quick taste again. Oh man, that's spicy. Mm. But not too spicy. Wanna try it? Ooh, wait. Yeah, absolutely. Let's get you a different spoon. I get to try it. You'll notice that it is, it's sweet, it's sour, it's a little spicy. Be careful, it's hot as it hell. It looks, yeah, that definitely looks pretty hot. <laughs> Blow on it or whatever. Yeah, it's gonna be hot. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. And it's spicy too. It is spicy. Oh yeah. I mean, do you think it's a little oh, too that's, much? No, 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 no. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be great. Okay. Oh, so. Yeah. That's good. Over here, I got some fish. We got some speckled trout here. Yeah, speckled trout that we caught earlier today. Yeah. <laughs> we have some. You said that's yeah, has of, a skin, skin on, so it's on the half shell. Skin on, or just take some fillets. Yeah. Do some um, 
took the skin off and left a few on them, just depending on how you want to yep. cook. Some people like to eat the fish off the skin. If you don't like that, it'd be just uh, straight on fillets. Yeah, so I'm gonna add, I, I added olive oil to all the sides and salted them all. I'm gonna just throw a little bit of pepper on each side here. A little bit more salt too. Because, you know, sometimes with these, uh, I find that with some of these white fish, the white fishes, right. um, that if you don't salt them enough, it, it just kind of falls flat. It's a little bit more. Yeah. So I've always learned, don't be shy on some, on some salt. Got some, some good Malden salt here and some sea salt. I'll just flop these over, add a little bit more. To the back side and then we are good to go i'm ready okay so we uh, are here outside in this beautiful area at the charleston fishing lodge uh our our wonderful host ben is back here hanging out we are going to grill up this fish and i'm also in front of my heckling crew right our studio here. audience our here. studio audience our studio uh, audience a here aka <laughs> <laughs> right and we are gonna finish up this meal it's kind of windy here so i am going to put this can we hold that down yeah probably don't burn yourself though oh, it's okay i'm unburnable so get this we got some charcoal grill going don't i don't want to stab you here we're gonna get this fish that we stick this right on the grill. These guys in the middle on the half shell, put the skin side down. Gotcha. And these guys, I'm gonna put them on the outside. All right, straight fillets on the outside. Straight fillets on the on outside. The skin in the middle. I'm gonna cook them all up in here. This isn't gonna take too long, y'all. Listen to me. Yeah, I heard that, y'all. I, I heard that. I am off on you. from Montana. I heard that. I don't know that we use y'all. I, I didn't think you used that in no, Montana at we, all. We certainly don't. And I, you know, I live in Seattle, and we, we definitely. We'll don't give do you that. a vocabulary lesson that oh, these cooking lessons over with. I, I have know. you saying all kind of different things. All of the things, y'all. <laughs> all all what of else? the things. What else is there? Oh, I got a laundry list. Wash. I'm learning. I'm learning today. Yeah. So I'm gonna cover this guy up, and we are going to move on to. Our slaw, which I've got everything going over here on the other side. So over here to be over here we go. This is gonna be an interesting spin on coleslaw. I've never seen mango in a coleslaw. Man. So everything's sweet. We got well, sweet in the in the uh Yeah, that's true. In escabiche. the sauce and the escabiche. Well there's a, with with the Philippines there's always a component of sweet and sour. Gotcha. And I mean, I don't know, I've had some sweet sweeter sides of barbecue sauce down here so, oh yeah you're right exactly. you know i mean it looks really good this is interesting we have coleslaw baked mm -hmm. beans with everything yeah coleslaw baked beans macaroni coleslaw baked beans fried chicken coleslaw goes with everything so this is interesting i can't wait to taste it yeah so we're gonna throw some uh, minced shallots in there and then i've got some just plain old yogurt so rolling in about a half a cup of that and that is instead of mayonnaise i mean i think yeah it, I'm, I'm, used used to to mayonnaise, right? I'm used to mayonnaise right yeah. i'm gonna do i'm i'm not doing mayonnaise it's like the the nice thing is is with uh yogurt i kind of i kind of feel like it adds to that like nice milk texture okay. but it also has a little bit of tang to it which lends really nicely with some vinegar i mean uh, us filipinos we can, oops i need to take the cap off we can't get enough vinegar so this is a tablespoonish of that. I'm gonna go ahead and do about a teaspoon-ish of soy sauce. And about a teaspoon, well, that's a little more than a teaspoon. Yeah, that <laughs> that kind of came out fast. That's okay. Of sesame oil. I'm gonna mix this together. So it's kind of a little bit of a vinaigrette, if you will. 
And in the Philippines, one of the things, I, actually, I was in Washington, D.C. I went to this restaurant called The Bad Saint. And as one of their appetizers, they, er, they served mango slices with what is called baguun. I never say that as I'm well. never even going to try this. It's a shrimp that. paste. That would come out as oh, a very bad right. word if I tried to even attempt to say that. Yeah. So, anyways, it's called baguun. Baguun. My mom makes fun of me every single time I try to say it. But, uh, yeah, it's a shrimp paste. Put a little bit of salt in there. I'm going to a few dashes of pepper. Mix this up. You can see it's kind of like a nice thick consistency here. And one thing I need to add yet is still a squeezing of lime. Ah, I am missing one other thing too. Oops. Oh, wow, yeah. it's just oh, getting, yeah. I'm getting crazy with it over here. <laughs> Settle down, we're gonna get to eat. It's true, I feel a little bit hungry. Cause I'm gonna mince some ginger. Add to that. I mean, we've got ginger in pretty much everything. And I'm not trying to be pretty about it here, everybody. Just not. I'm just gonna, I just need a little bit of it. Because I think with ginger, a little bit goes a long way. Okay, just mince this up. Try not to cut my fingers off. Okay, cool throw in so that's probably in the neighborhood of about a tea half a teaspoon of minced ginger when I'm lazy at home I actually get a minced ginger like in a jar and it actually works really really well okay and I want to make sure I've got enough salt in there I'm gonna stick my finger in there sorry y'all oh yeah that's good. good yeah it is good looks good smells good tastes good yep so in here we have mangoes and we have a pre I just went to the Whole Foods and got a pre-made slaw mix which has carrots and the purple cabbage and regular cabbage in here. And cabbage will soak up the dressing. So I probably have in the neighborhood of about mm, three quarters of a cup and I'm gonna put all of that in there. Let's mix it up. Ooh, that looks really, yeah, really awesome. To, uh, I'm actually really not going to flip it. I mean, it looks really, really okay. awesome. I'm going to take this. And these are our leeks. Leeks and chives you have there, right? Yep. I'm not going to put the chives on there okay. right yet. Now, what is this the leeks do? Is that just uh, garnish or is that going to add some type it's of gonna add, well? It's going to add a nice mild, like kind of like a green onions type okay. flavor to it. Okay. So let's close that up and right. we're going to give it like two more minutes. And then we'll just get everything ready to go. And then pour, I'm ready to pour my... You're ready? To, I'm ready to... You're ready? To... To eat. To lather up that you're ready? trout and escabiche. Oh yes, I know. We're going to stick it in here. Yeah. We're going to lather the trout up and then we're going to... Now, gonna, are you actually going to hmm? cook that? On there or just after it's all done, after just kind of butter it up? Pouring it on. All right, great. So we'll, we'll flatter it up and pour it right on and then we'll, right, we'll get ready to go. All right. Moment of truth. Mo I mean, you can smell that leak, yeah, can't I know you? It. I know it. I, I know. Like ready? It. I'm ready to see it. All right, let's do it. Ooh. Oh, yeah. So these guys are going to just be nice and tender. Nothing like too outrageously crunchy. You can kind of see it here. Yeah, it's starting right. to... Uh, a little crispy on the outside. Yeah, we don't even need it. So look, this fish is nice and flaked Flaky. off. It's yeah. awesome. And I'm going to get crazy. I'm just going to go ahead and just grab this. All right. I've done this a million times. I'm going to move it over. This the big guy. plate here? Yeah, why don't you bring this plate up over here so you can move it off there pretty easily. Okay, ready? Yeah. Sweet. All right. right. You can smell that. Looks, it smells awesome. So then we are just going to go ahead and add the escabeche on there. Just pour it right all over top of everything. That's love. It is love. <laughs> it is my, I mean, I got to tell you, my, my mama, she taught me well. She did. This looks 
absolutely amazing. Because I can't not have everything look real pretty, we're gonna get a little bit of chives on top here. Right? A little bit of Italian parsley, and then we are done. Awesome. Okay. Look at that, folks. Isn't that freaking fan freaking tastic right fan there? <laughs> Freaking that fan freaking tastic. I feel like you're really ready to try this. Oh uh, yeah, I've been okay. ready for like the last 30 minutes. Now. Okay. So let's go. All right, let's, let's set, set it on down. Let's set it on stuff. down. I feel like we have some moment of truth coming. Of all of this time you've seen on my Instagram. <laughs> I've seen it. And now you're I actually eating. finally get to taste it now. Let's see here. I'm going for the coleslaw first. You're going to go for the coleslaw first? I'm most first? interested I gotta, in the coleslaw. I got to get the fish on here. I got to admit. I have my doubts about the coleslaw. That's really it's good. Different. It's yeah. a mango, possibly. All right. Coming from the south, you think you know everything about coleslaw, but that is mm. the mango is perfect. It is. It's perfect. All right. I don't know. I want you to try that fish, though. All right. You gotta I'll get on that. That I really, really like it. It's not too spicy. That is it. Yeah. That is that is really fan freaking tastic. That's the word. That's the word of the show right mm -hmm. here. Fan freaking tastic. Fan -freaking I'll leave it in the description box how you spell that. Fan freaking tastic. Well, for free. For this free. Is unbelievable. I can't believe how good that is. I know. No. It's not so bad. All huh? I have to do is learn how to catch trout all the time. I can have this more frequently. Or redfish. Or redfish. I bet it would be great with redfish. Well, I really appreciate it having me here. I really do. This is great. Yeah. Guys, make sure you check out the description box in this video. I'm going to leave all the ingredients, um, a place where you can find all the equipment that we use, all the cookware, everything. This is a great dish. You definitely want to try this. It's unbelievable definitely how, this, how it. good this is. I have to admit, I had my doubts about the coleslaw. You know, coming from the <laughs> south, we eat coleslaw with everything, every cookout. Every he doubted function. me. And I had my <gasps> doubts. I was like, yogurt, coleslaw, mango, uh -uh, <laughs> not going to work. That was absolutely fabulous. I definitely highly recommend it. So check out the description box. Check out all these cool Stanley products. This stuff is amazing. Yeah, you definitely you will, never, you will not be unimpressed after you use it. So you'll be very impressed. Thank you so much, <laughs> Michelle, yeah. for coming out You're doing welcome. this for us. This was Anytime. awesome. Absolutely awesome. We'll do this again. I'm yeah, sure. absolutely. We'll have to do something right. else. Absolutely great. All right. Well, thank you. Let me finish my dinner. That's all, right, that's all I got to say. Yeah, Bye. we're done. Bye, y'all. Bye. Bye. <laughs>